In case you haven't heard, yes, Bubble has released its ability to create page layouts using an AI page generator, which generates pages basically based on a prompt. As simple as that. Stay tuned if you want to know the whole scoop. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it worth my time? That is what everyone's going to want to know about this AI page generating tool that Bubble has just released over in beta mode in your Bubble editor. Now, before we get into see where you can go and create these, let's just take a tour of a couple pages that I spun up based on some prompts. So this was for a social feed for a sports league app where teams could sync up and know basically what's going on with their team, as well as see an activity feed. This is a landing page for a electric scooter or electric anything, uh, skateboard, bike, marketplace. And this is the inside of that for actually the marketplace for the pages. And then finally, this dashboard here. Um, I have to say, well, I'm I'm not going to give it away here at the beginning, but I'll give you my final take on everything as we wrap up the video. First, now let's go and dive into the back end of Bubble. So where can you get access to this? Well, it's just right here. If you head on to create a new page, it's add a new page with AI beta. What are the options? Well, it's got a couple of boilerplate templates where you can uh, basically choose one that is most similar to what it is that you're making. Now, if you don't see anything here, there's nothing from Bubble officially about anything related to timelines or when, you know, when and what will be next to make it onto this list. So what you see here is what you get for now. Um, the rest of this video, we are going to spend creating a page and we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do a side by side comparison. So I'm going to go with marketplace here and I have a prompt ready for us here to go with. So what I'm going to do in the first one is I'm just going to say, so if you look at what they suggest, it's just something as simple as that. So we're going to send it off. And then we're going to do the same thing. Now, this one is giving the goal of the screen and it's giving, it's talking about the, the people that will be using it, but which have been given in this initial statement, talent scouts and baseball athletes uh, based on the criteria. But what we're sharing in the second one, you can see is a little bit, uh, another layer of information that lets the system know who is doing what searching for the other person. Right. So let's get that one going in this tab. I think one of the more powerful things we'll see this as this is going through here, but this writing page text, when I saw that, um, is actually something that came, jumped out to me as I was evaluating the different pages that it generated is that I was thinking, what are some of the positives here? It's like, well, it talks about things that I probably wouldn't have thought of um, just on a you know first time basis of going at an app. Um, things that, like for example, let's look at this, the, the upcoming events or also announcements, right? Like if I'm on, so this is a team league type of app. If I'm on there, I wanna know what are the announcements. I wanna know when is my team meeting next. Um, but without the help of Bubble in this particular scenario, I would have not gotten that hot tip so I think that's something that is cool and could be used here. Now let's go ahead, let's take a preview on this one. And we can see that, so this is it. This is our scout area where the scouts would be looking for basically prospects uh, in this case, or it's just one you know side of a marketplace looking for stuff in the other side. Now this one is basically identical to this electric scooter one. So if we look at, it's kind of as if Bubble is taking their component area and they're saying this is what it's going to look like. And then it goes out and it uses the AI prompt to basically write the text that would go into uh, into the areas. So is it uh, is it anything that special? Well, let's check it out. So if we close this to make it more like a mobile screen size, we can see that, um, well, if this was not running, we see that this just automatically pops up. So that's cool. Um, if we turn that off, let's see what else we have here. So this filters, this comes in from the side and you can basically treat this as 
a customizable component area is what we could say for um, the the foundation of of version one, mind you, that uh, Bubble has released. Okay, and then the second one has finished side by side. And if we look at this, there's just one thing I noticed um, when working with this is that you might see something that looks like this where the icons are off. If you do see that, just grab the icons, make them fixed with. This is something that, you know, just knowing from building in Bubble that this is often a little glitch that occurs. And so now if we take a look at this one, in our side-by-side -side comparison. Really, the only difference is that this one adds an extra row to the repeating group. So that's basically it. If we look at the landing page, regardless of what you say, it's just going to go out and create images. And again, it's just going to give you a templated page. And yep, just confirming that that is indeed the case. And in fact, uh, in addition for the landing page, also went out and did the exact same prompt, but for a dashboard page. And what do we see for that? Well, it's identical to a dashboard that was used for a video editing flow type of app. And we can see here, all it's doing is, it is going and taking the text and just usually using your prompt and filling it in with the, with it, with the type of text that would be related to that type of app. Um, so it's kind of an upgrade from the component area. It is definitely, you know, um, worth just a stop in if you are going to be creating an app like this anyways, uh, as a way of gathering ideas. However, I would not put it above, you know, going out to dribble, going out to any of the other UI creation, uh, UI generator type of tools that are out there and just seeing what you can create, getting ideas. And at least at this point in the game, it's just not there for UI as much as I wish it was. It would be really nice once we get to the moment where we can indeed uh, really make amazing UIs that are as top tier as what you see at all of the world's big companies out there today. Um, and, you know, who's, who knows what the future will bring. And this is an exciting step in that direction. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also enjoy the amazing video about Claude on the channel because of that one is about utilizing that, which I still think is the smartest AI tool out there, um, or at least it's the most enjoyable one that I enjoy uh, using. So check it out and you'll see how to combine the act of web scraping with using Claude to create something really amazing if you're into AI stuff. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if you would like to get more tips about Bubble.